Hello and welcome back. This is going to be a look at the live mode of Omnisphere. Uh, we looked at the stack mode in the last video. Um, and the live mode is, well, let's just say quite powerful in what it does. Um, to access live mode, you have to go into multi, click on live, and you get this interface. There's two interfaces to live. There is this one, and then there's like a stack in there. But as you can tell, the difference here is you can't, these are volume controls, so you can't alter the volume if you're in that view, but you can alter the volume on the flying, this view. You see on here it says default, default, default. Well, it's not going to play anything apart from the stock sound. So just for uh, demonstration purposes, I'll have that one. Stick something in here by clicking on the holder. Okay, it wasn't going to do anything for me there. Let's get a bass on. And you hear that nothing's happening when I'm highlighted bass. It's only playing the first sound because you're going to engage it by pressing the on button. Let's just change that one to something else. Uh, unlock synth guitar. There we go. It's got a nice art pattern with it. Drop spring. So you can swap between them in, in a live situation between those two sounds. Now, if you want to enable both at the same time, or if you just click it, it doesn't do anything. But if you right click and your MIDI CC learn, or as I tend to do is MIDI Lout learn, because I've got an 88 note keyboard. I use the really extreme end of the keyboard where you very rarely play. So MIDI note learn and we'll use A note. As you see that that actually brought that on. If I click that, uh, it brings on synth guitar from on drop strings. I get both now. Now one if I want just the arpeggiator to play at the lower end and the guitar at the top end. So, so what I need to do, I need to sort of engage a bit of stack mode here. And a good way of doing that is if you see this little plus icon, you get a whole set of menus you can choose from here. And what I'm going to engage here is stack mode note regions. If I highlight that, go into stack mode, and as we did in the last video, drag that across so that will allow drop strings springs to work in the whole keyboard and analog synth thing guitar. Well, I don't want the arpeggiator at the top end, I want it in the bottom. So I'll bring that down. If we go back to live, click on the plus thing. Now I've got analog synth guitar. Play the bottom end of the key, nothing happens. It's at the top. Drop strings. Top end of the keyboard, nothing happens. But I've got it at the bottom. So if I click that on. So there we have a little bit of live mode there. So that just gives you a little touch of what I can do. We'll do one more thing before I stop the video because live mode, I'm going to spread it over a few videos because it's going to be quite long otherwise, what we can do in live mode. Because we've got drop springs, analog synth guitar there. Now, what you can do, you can engage the arpeggiator. I want a nice chord, so I'll put a C minor. And if I click latch and let go of the keys, it'll carry on playing. Now if I go to, if I keep that 
As soon as I flick, it moves. Flick back, it comes on. If I want it to keep playing, though, what I need to do is go back in there and undo stack mode. It will let me do it. But it doesn't play that sound again, so it doesn't over... So you don't actually get the analogs in the guitar playing in the bottom end. So if I latch that again, I bring lock up strings in. And I just close, uh, select latch and it stops it all. Um, I think that's where we'll stop for now because otherwise this video, like I say, will get insanely long and I'm sure you'll probably lose all hope of ever seeing the end of this. So I'll stop now and if you enjoyed this little quick overview of the very basics and the tip of the iceberg of live mode, give the video a like, give it a thumbs up and click on the bell in the top corner and you'll be notified on the, West, on the next upload. And uh, please subscribe to the channel. You subscribe to the channel means everything to me. I've hit over 100 and I'm really thankful to the community for that. And soon there will be uh, something special um, coming out for, well, to celebrate getting over 100 subscribers. Uh, and there'll be more of that in the next coming of weeks. So for now, I'll say goodbye and uh, we'll pick this up in the next video and we'll go a bit deeper.